beginning just hours or that first day into the wound healing process is the inflammatory phase of wound healing. Now, what are the goals of this phase? Well, number one is to clear pathogens. Number two is to clear debris. And then number three is to initiate the repair cascade. All right, well, how do we do this? We talked about all of those growth factors that are secreted by the platelet plug. And this happens after an injury. So those growth factors are gonna lead to cell recruitment. Well, what is the most remarkable cell of the inflammatory phase of wound healing? Because there are three important cells that you gotta know. And let's start with the most important one, and that is the neutrophil. So what does the neutrophil do? So the neutrophil is in the first 24 to 48 hours, and it is a first responder cell. It's important in phagocytosis, so that leads to clearance of debris and clearance of that wound. It releases reactive oxygen species as well as proteases to further sterilize and clean that wound. In addition, neutrophils secrete cytokines, interleukin-1, TNF-alpha, that leads to that initial inflammatory cascade. And it's important to know that they begin to decline after about three days or 72 hours. Well, what's the next most important cell? The next most important cell is the macrophage. Now the macrophage, remember, comes from the monocyte. These begin a couple of days into wound healing. They peak at 72 hours. Why is that really important? I want you to think about that, okay? Well, macrophages, they also participate in phagocytosis to clear the wound of debris and pathogen. They also have growth factor secretion, cytokine secretion. They stimulate fibroblasts, both in recruitment and in action. And when we break down macrophages, we see that there is our M1 type and M2 type macrophages and the third cell. What's the third cell? Well, that is the mast cell. Well, the mast cell secretes histamine. So what? What, what does this have to do with wound healing? Well, histamine is a vasodilator. It's going to open up those blood vessels, allow more cells to be recruited to that healing wound bed, and also increasing permeability so cells can get through that endothelial layer and begin healing and also help release cytokines. So mast cells are the third most important cell when it comes to this inflammatory phase. 